Morning. It's time you're out here. Don't I get a good morning kiss or something? Well, how about a nice cup of rosy then? No. Why not? Because. No, come on. Oh, come on. What's the rush? I've got to get going, and so do you. Well, um, if you've got time, we could. Uh... No. Out. <laughs> Just that shame. What? How did you know that? Oh, I miss nothing, me. What, am I under surveillance or something? No. You got shaving cream in your ear. Late night. What? I'll shave you when you get to work. It's kind of a giveaway. Yeah, right. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. Louise Larson, you went back to get a witness statement signed last night, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Well, while you were over there, she didn't offer anything else up, did she? No, not really. Um, just that she's not that keen on appearing in court. Gov? Gov, can I have a word? Louise Larson, the woman who was carjacked yesterday, she's definitely Pete Larson's wife. They share a place together up in Islington. OK. Thing is, there didn't seem to be a reason for her to be around some hill. I mean, according to her statement, she was visiting a friend. But it's all a bit vague. It doesn't quite ring true. You think she's hiding something? Well, not about the carjacking, no. The fact that they nicked three cars in a row suggests that they weren't specifically targeting Larson through her, although he does own several car dealerships. Legitimate? It would seem so, although the man's no stranger to money laundering. What about her? Has she ever been involved in his shenanigans? Not as far as I know. OK. Why don't you ask her to come in, take a look at the witness display album, see if she can identify the second carjacker. It's going to give you a chance to ask a few more questions. OK. Tread carefully, though. I don't want to open up a big bag of trouble if we don't have to. Sure. Oh, and Zane, if we do find anything of note about her husband, we will be handing it on to the NCS. OK? Enough. I don't know how many ways to say this. I only got a quick look at his face. Well, sometimes we see things we don't realise we've seen. Really? What's Pete up to these days? What's that got to do with anything? I just wondered. Car dealing. Zane, you want to see me? Mrs Larson? Yeah, I've asked Mrs Larson to come in and have a look at some wads in relation to the second carjacking, and I thought, as you were also a witness, you should have a look with her. Good idea. You told Sergeant Smith that you were visiting a friend, is that right? Yes. And you said that your friend lives on Eddington Lane, but you were nowhere near Eddington Lane at the time. I got lost. Not familiar with the area? No. Were you meeting your husband at this friend's house? No. We seem to have arrived back at page one. And I don't recognise anyone. Now, if there's nothing else, I really do need to get going. I'll show you out. No, it's all right. I'll do it. Better give her some directions. We don't want her getting lost again. Um, lost? You knew your way around the back streets better than I did yesterday. I thought we'd finish with the questions. Well, you know us, old Bill. We're always after a little bit more. Is that right? So, supposing an opportunity arose? I know. Don't worry. I'm sure I can find my way back to Islington. I wonder if you can. Hello? What do you think you're doing? Well, I thought you wanted to see me. What made you think that? When you were at the station, you were... Wondering whether I could find my way to Islington, so... And that means come over, does it? I just thought that... Look, you have to go. And just don't call me again, OK? What? So that's it? You're a bloke. I thought a one-night stand was the perfect deal. Well, yeah, but... I don't know, I thought it was a bit of fun. Maybe we could do it again. You've got to go. Well, let me just come in. No. Please, just go now. Going for a wee. How's your love life, Smithy? 
Do you know what? I thought I was on the same, but it turns out it was way off the mark. Thank you, Smithy. What I need to know, Sarge, that carjacking you were involved in, Louise Larson's vehicle's been recovered. Have you phoned Mrs. Larson yet? No. Nope. We'll see what. Why don't I do that for you? Perfect. It's all yours. Louise, it's Sergeant Smith. No, look, don't hang up. It's about your car. It's been recovered and it's at the pound, so I need to arrange a time with you for you to pick it up. And the sooner the better, because they're going to start the charging. I wasn't expecting you to be here. I thought I'd give you a hand with the formalities. Let me get this over with, then. Right. Have you got any identification? I need to put the details down on the phone. OK. Right, it doesn't do you justice. Can I have my keys? If you could just sign there. So, do you do this often? Give a bloke the come on and then slam a door in his face. I didn't ask you to come round to my house. What, are you worried that your old man's gonna find out? I wouldn't want that to happen for your sake. Why? What is he, the jealous type? He hangs out in certain circles. You mean he's been? I mean, it could be dangerous for a man in your line of work if you happen to get on the wrong side of some of his friends. I can't take care of myself. Thank you for sorting out my car, Sergeant. Look, I'm sorry. I just thought you were messing me about. I wouldn't do that. So when can I see you again? I don't want you calling me. I don't want you coming around to my house. Then I shall wait for you to call me. I know you want it. You know, arrogance is very unattractive in a man. It's not arrogance. What is it, then? Let's call it... a copper's instinct. I'll get off at the seven. See if you can get away. <laughs> 